Hi, this video is a special Halloween edition for the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2014 Grade 11-12 Contest, Question 13. Ah, okay. The question is, the number ends by the digit 2. If you move this digit 2 to the beginning of the number, you will obtain a number twice as large. Start determining such a number, by the way, the smallest is in this number. And select which di divisibility plays a role in finding it. Okay. So we know that the number must end in the digit 2. So let's take a random number, let's say 1,642. Okay, let me know that if we would put the 2 to the front, then we would have 2 at the front, and then we would have 2, and then we would have the 164 following. Okay, and we know that from the question, it says if we move the digit 2 to the beginning, you will obtain a number twice as large. So we will have 2 times this number would be equal to this number, but of course in this case this is not true. So let's call this number n and this number m. Okay, so right now we have two, one relation for two unknowns. But of course, if we just do trial and error, that would not that would almost be impossible to find because the number is so large. So we need to use more information from the question. Alright, now we know that the 2 goes to the front. And we know that the digits all move to the right one. And we know that these digits still stay in the same order, which here would be 164. So let's call 164k. Okay, so now let's express m and n both in terms of k so that we will get one relation for one unknown k. Alright, let's start with n. So we have n, which is equal to, now we know that this is like putting 1640 plus 2. And we see that 164 is here, and you would just multiply that by 10. So we have 10 times k plus 2. Now let's express m in terms of k. So this is like writing 2000 plus 164, and 2000 is like well, we have 2,000 plus 164. And then 2,000 is like writing 2 times 1,000, which is like writing 2 times 10 to the power of 3 plus 164, which is K. Okay, now let's put this into an equation. So we have 2 times this. Which is then 10 times k plus 2. And this is equal to 2 times... Okay, and now instead of writing 3, we want to find something more general because we don't know the number of digits in the number. We don't know if there is, for in this case, 4 or 5 or 6 or however many. 
So instead of putting 3, we will put a variable, we will put p. So we have 2 times 10 to the power of p plus k. Okay, so now we only want k on one side, so we have 2 times 10, which is 20, times k is 20k. And then we have k, so minus k, putting it on this side. And then we're rewriting this. And then here we have 2 times 2, which is 4, putting it on this side is negative 4. Okay, so 20k minus k is 19k. Okay, and then we have 2 times, and in brackets, 10 to the power of p, minus 2. Okay, so we know that the number that you start off with must be divisible by, by 19. So we have the answer being E divisibility through 19. But now if we wanted to find the smallest possible values for N and M, we would start off with P being 1 and gradually increase until this bracket would be divisible by 19 because then we could find the value of K and then substitute value of k into here and find n and then find m. And if we were to do this, we would find for the smallest value for that to be successful with p would be p is equal to 13. And then that would give us the value of this for n. Okay, so the answer is e divisibility through 19. If you'd like to know more about this contest, Please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com. Ah.